Hey buddy! So, can you use a normal fridge in your motorhome or RV? Well, yes you can! You can use a regular fridge in a motorhome or an RV! That works too! <laughs> but you're gonna face some difficulties. The main ones are gonna be, can it actually fit? And how are you gonna power it? And will you actually be able to power it with your current electrical system? But don't worry, we're gonna go through that in this video. So just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride! The main pro about using a normal, regular refrigerator in your RV is it's gonna save you tons of money. Because, I mean, you can go to the local uh, store and just pick one up, the cheapest one, the smallest one and just throw it in your RV. Uh, and it's not gonna be that expensive. But if you're looking for a specialized RV refrigerator, that can also run on propane or it's specialized to run on 12 volts well those are much much more expensive but they come with a lot of pros now we're gonna talk more about the normal standard refri refrigerator uh, that you could use in your RV and the main concern about those ones is gonna be your power supply so how are you gonna power this one if you're stationary and you're always staying at the same campsite or if you're at an RV park or uh, just in your um, in your garden uh, with your RV well then and you always have a continuous supply of uh, electricity and always being connected to shore power well that's gonna be like the ideal situation to get a regular fridge but on the other hand if you want to go boondocking and you need to power the fridge of your 12 volt batteries of your housing batteries this is going to be a bit more tricky because a normal fridge is only running on a high voltage like 110 120 volts or 220 230 volts depending on where you are if you're in the united states or or in sweden and to be able to power that fridge you're gonna need an inverter that connects to your 12 volt batteries uh, and converts those the 12 volt electricity that you have in those home batteries into a higher voltage like 110 10, 120 or 220 volts uh, and this inverter all the time when you're running it it's actually gonna consume quite a lot of uh, electricity as well so you don't only need to power the fridge but you also need to power the inverter now and the fridge is also gonna be using more electricity than a like 12 volt specialized RV fridge in most cases depending on what type of fridge that you're gonna use and what type of uh, what sized battery banks that you have and what types of batteries you have uh, how long you can run it from those batteries is gonna vary quite a lot uh, but don't worry I've made an article about this as well where I have done a good table that you can look over the exact numbers like how long can you run uh, a fridge that consumes 150 kilowatt uh, uh, per year which would come down to about 1.4 amp hours per hour and the battery runtime would be approximately 26 hours with a 100 amp hour lithium battery and I also put in a normal uh, gel battery in there as well to, to do comparisons but if you choose a fridge, a normal fridge that is uh, on the lower end of the electric, electricity consumption uh, it's gonna last you about 12 to 35 hours depending on what batteries you have if now we're talking about 100 amp hour batteries uh, so but go into the the website and check out that article to get a more detailed view there you will also see approximately how much the inverter is gonna use as well as how much electricity is gonna go to waste due to inefficiency uh, in the conversion process but it's really important to keep this in mind because most cases the inverter is actually going to be using more electricity than the actual fridge so it's really important that you check this up and do your maths about this so i'm going to leave a link in the description as well as in the pinned comment to this article and if you're a bit unsure about how the electricity system works in an rv don't worry uh, i have another video where i talk about the three different types of electricity system that you have in your rv how those works and everything you need to know before you go out boondocking but as a general rule if you want to use a regular fridge run it on an inverter you're gonna need approximately 200 amp hours of a battery bank as well as some decent solar uh, if you want to do this boondocking 
but on the other hand if you're gonna stay most of the time at the campsite and be hooked up to shore power it's not gonna require much at all so for boondockers or wild campers the better option when choosing a fridge would be a 12 volt compressor fridge since when you're using that one you won't need the inverter running and you're gonna cut your electricity consumption pretty much in half uh, or if you want to to run your fridge on propane then you have absorption fridges which is like the more common rv fridges and those ones can run on both propane 12 volt and a high voltage like 120 volts or 220 volts the only downside with these absorption fridges is that they use a lot of electricity if you want to run them purely on 12 volts so that's not a good idea uh, so if you're opting for an absorption fridge instead you need to run it on uh, propane when you're out boondocking and then the high voltage shore power when you're at the campsite or when you have access to it but now when we've taken all of this stuff into consideration and you still decide that you want to use a regular fridge well then it's the fitting part can you find a fridge that's actually gonna fit anywhere in your rv well there are like these small normal fridges like dorm fridges and uh, that could be a good option but there's also the bigger ones that you might want to use and to find the perfect space for those in an rv can be quite difficult but don't be afraid of doing some of your own refitting and rebuilding in your rv i mean some basic woodworking skills and you can uh, rip out an old cabinetry and uh, put in the the new fridge there and maybe cover up the holes if there is any with some wood and just paint that up and it's gonna be good anyway so there are options even though if you take out the original RV fridge and in that space you can't fit it uh, perfectly well you can use some trimmings just some wood and put it over the holes that that are left there and do some own woodworking uh, working stuff I mean just watch some YouTube videos and you're gonna be good. Another problem that you're gonna notice when you're replacing it with a normal fridge is gonna be how to keep the door closed because all the RV specialty fridges they always have some kind of locking system for your um, fridge door uh, so those are gonna be closed when you're driving but if you replace it with a regular fridge you're gonna have to build that yourself so just think about that there are different options out there uh, but basically you just need to get intuitive and explore your different options it could be anything from uh, installing a piece of wood to a next door cabinetry that you just fold over um, to lock in the door or something else and another thing before you actually buy your regular fridge or of course if you have one standing in the garage already that you want to reutilize well do it it's gonna be free for you at that time then uh, but if you're looking into buying a new one at least compare the prices to a 12 volt fridge that is made for RVs because there are some some 12 volt compressor fridges that are on Amazon with uh, like lower lower end brands that are actually pretty affordable that you could check out so just to summarize yes you can use a standard refrigerator in your RV is it gonna be optimal for you well maybe maybe not uh, but just keep in mind that you might need to replace your whole electrical system double your battery bank add solar panels add an inverter and if you need to do those things if you want to be out boondocking well it's gonna be much more expensive compared to buying directly a specialized rv fridge so keep that in mind on the other hand if you're staying at campgrounds all the time or if you're more stationary and you have electrical hookup in that case it can save you a lot of money just buying a standard fridge and remember to check out the article where you can see the table of how long you can actually power your standard fridge in an RV with different types of battery solutions as well as check out the video about RV electricity if you're not sure how the RV electricity system works and you want to get some tips before you go out boondocking so I'm gonna leave links to this in the description box below and then I hope I see you soon Ciao!